three, two, one. Yeah! I'm about to pass a hundred thousand feet. Can I make it pass a hundred thousand feet? What up, tubers? The imaginative Astro Bunny here, and welcome back to Geo Flight Simulator. No time for charity. So in today's video, I'm thinking about doing a few more crazy stunts. I mean, well, this series is gonna be mostly a bunch of stunts. I mean, why else would you want to watch some cool-looking Geo Flight Simulator videos? I mean, somebody's gotta do some stunts, right? Right. Anyway, so the stunts that I'm thinking about doing today are altitude related stunts and I can unpause the game. So I'm thinking these stunts today are going to be altitude based stunts. So for my first stunt, I'm going to go for an altitude record. So let's see, I think I'm all set. Where am I? App. Hala. Apala Chicola, Florida. And I am absolutely confident that I butchered that name. But, uh, I don't know if proper pronunciations are important this time around. But, uh, anyway. So, yeah, I'm going for an altitude record. I'm here at this town's airport. And I think it's time to go into the stratosphere. So, without further ado, turn the brake off, and full throttle, and then I'm going to set it to 50% throttle, just to keep speeds low. There's a maximum speed limit that you have to follow when you're under 10,000 feet, we're at V1, we can rotate now. I so said we can rotate, whoa, 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 uh, yeah, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I? <laughs> so off I go. I am now flying off into the Gulf of Mexico. Is that the Gulf of Mexico? Yeah. Uh, why does it look so green? This is water that I'm flying over. Water is supposed to be blue. At least that's what I was taught in rabbit school, anyway, right? Yeah. Why is it supposed to be blue? Why? Well, I guess it's kind of green-blue, so I guess that makes sense, but there we go. There's blue water over there, right? Yeah, I think so. So, you can say bye-bye to the airport. I'm just going to keep flying up, and I know at what point I'm going to want to initiate this stunt, which is going to be at flight level 600, which translates to 60,000 feet. So I'm going to meet you guys up there. Alright, tubers, welcome back. I am now at altitudes of 60,000 feet, and I am having difficulty keeping this thing stabilized at such altitudes. Really, it's kind of a bit of a difficulty. I... I really have to say that. So at this point, it's about keeping this thing stabilized and making sure that I don't start descending because now I'm at reasonable altitudes that I want to be at. And oh, look at my speed increase. 900 knots. Let's, let's pause it. Go ahead, go to 62,000 feet. I want you to tie as many knots as you possibly can. Let's see, let's zoom out so I can get a map. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so I am already returning to... Let's see, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Come on, autopilot, do your magic. Come on! You're supposed to get to an altitude, stop descending or ascending at that altitude, and stay at that altitude. Wait, what city am I going to- I'm going to be flying north of Tampa. Huh, interesting. Uh, you're descending too fast. Alright. Could you stabilize and keep at 63,000 feet? Okay. Okay, 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 and keep it at 63,000 feet, and 
BOOM! There we go! Okay, it's gonna sit a little bit, but then it's gonna stabilize, right? Yeah, stabilize. You know what, I'm gonna turn on pilot off. I think I can safely do so. I'm going to capture in the elevator. Uh, I'm starting to descend. I don't want to descend. If anything, I want to get ready to go into the, into space. Okay, my little birdie is now exceeding 1,000 knots. Wait, did I just call it a birdie? Yeah, who cares? Oh look, I can see Tampa over there. Let's see, I think if I turn and look, I think that's Orlando over there. And then somewhere over there is the Kennedy Space Center. The important landmarks, right? Yeah, important landmarks. I don't know if you notice, but I can notice the curvature of the Earth up at these altitudes. Technically, I can start noticing them up at 30,000 feet, but uh, anyway. So I've had quite a few altitude records that I've made in the past. This isn't the first time that I've attempted such a stunt. So this goes back to before I started recording YouTube videos. One altitude record that I established was 68,000 feet, but my climb rate was way too aggressive. My engine's thrust couldn't keep up, and the plane just stalled out at 68,000, and that was it. Nothing else I could do about that. Another time, I decided to fly my Sukhoi up at around 60,000 feet, and I decided, hmm, what if I were to do a loop-de-loop -loop style dive, where I pulled up, did a little loop like this, like my mouse is showing, and then dive straight down, what could I do? That caused for my greatest altitude record that I'd set yet which is 110,000 feet, approximately around flight level 1100. On today's stunts, I want to try to reattain those heights. So, uh, where am I flying right now? I'm flying north of St. Petersburg. I'm about to, I think I'm going to be flying right over the heart of Tampa. And is that its airport right there? Cool! That's its airport. Let's see, 10.50. See, I see it's terminal right there. I think that's another terminal or something right there. Maybe the parking lot. Probably the parking lot. And there's its runways right there. Maybe once I'm done with this stunt, I could go and try landing there. Or maybe I could land at that airport, which also seems to be right there. And I think somewhere over there here is another airport on that island. Yeah, right over there. Could have like a city air taxi service or something like that. Oh look, I'm flying right over the airport. Alright boys, it took me 15 minutes according to my game bar recorder to get up here. You wanna know what time it is? It's time to go for the altitude record. Three, two, one. Yeah! Pull up. Pull up. Get some altitude. Keep it together. Uh, uh, I can hold it. I can hold it. 80 degrees. I'm keeping it stabilized. I'm about to pass 100,000 feet. Can I make it pass 100,000? Please! Woo! I just made it past 100,000 feet. And this is where I began to stall. And technically, I should be unconscious at this point. And yeah, it's stall time, which means it's time to pause it and that is 107,007 feet okay so I'm going to 18 so 107,007 I'll be right back I'm gonna check speeds here okay so feet to miles 
107007. What do I have? Oh! 20 and a quarter miles? I'm a quarter of the way? No, not a quarter. I'm a third of the way up to space. And whoa! You can really see the Earth's curvature from up here, so. Wow! Wow! Oh man! You can see quite a lot from up here. Uh, let's see. What do I notice? I notice Tampa, I notice St. Petersburg, I see Miami from over there. Uh, over there, I think, is Miami. If I look over this way, Key West is over there. That's where I played in the first episode. Uh, Orlando is there. Uh, the KSC, that's the space center right there. Uh, wow, you seem to get a good view of most of Florida from up here. Well, I'm gonna call that 107,000 feet. So let's see, how many nautical miles is that? 17 nautical miles. Uh, meters? 32,616 meters. Kerbal Space Program, this altitude suggests halfway, nearly halfway to space. You know, when I zoom out, I look at the map, Florida looks like this curved shape right here. Turn the map, na map, 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 turn the nav map on. It kind of uh, doesn't exactly show that exact resemblance. Interesting. Oh, cool! I can see the Bahamas from here. Let's see, I think at this point I want to... What is that over there? Is that like a, uh, <clears throat> string of cities? Is that what that is? A string of cities? Let's see, it goes up to Orlando. I think, I think that might be the suburbs? That's the suburbs. Oi, it goes a long, long, long way down. Wow. Interesting. Alright, I spent enough time up here. Where do I want to go for landing? I'm gonna get make my way to Tampa Airport. So, let's see. Go ahead, let that send. Let's see, yep, I'm getting the stall warning. Let's see, can I keep myself stall, angled stall. downwards at 45 degrees? Stall, uh, stall. Let's see, it's time to go stall. back through that. Whoa, 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 stall, whoa, stall. whoa, 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 keep it stabilized, 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 whoa, whoa, I'm, I'm getting lift back, I'm getting lift back, but it's causing me to, oh, yeah, 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 uh, what is this, uh, airtime rodeo or something, boy, was that quite the sound, so let's see, I turn like this, and then I'm going to descend my way. No, 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 no rolling, no rolling, no rolling. Okay, okay, keep it stabilized. Let's see, how fast am I going? Uh, pause it. 1100, 1200, 1228, 1228, not bad, not bad. Oh, hey, look! I can see the runways. I mean, I can see the other runways for the other airports. There's one there. And I can't tell way over there. I think I'm too far away. Well, I'm gonna actually turn off the engine because now I am going way, way, way too fast. And I'm gonna apply flaps for extra drag. And I'm gonna go for that far runway over there. D that way I have some distance with which to slow down. Is that a runway over there? Yeah, that's another airport. So I'm just gonna do some gliding here and I'll catch up with you guys once I get close to the runway. See you in a little bit.
Okay, change of plan. The speed is hinting that I should go for one of those other runways. Or could I? Let's make a diversion. That runway is there. It's closer. And let's see, now I'm within the speed limit. So now I'm just going to make my way there. I'm going to descend. Let's see if I can actually butter the bread. I mean, that would be pretty cool, right? Yeah, butter the bread! Okay, coming upon 500. the runway. My speed is 400. going under 200 knots now. 300. I'm not going to apply 250. the brakes just 200. yet. 150. 125. Down. 100, Keep it 75, Keep it 50, 30, and... Oh! That wasn't butter. Oh, That was not butter. Oh, at least I landed safely. I can recall the first times in which I landed a Sukhoi aircraft. They were not smooth at all, let me tell you. If anything, I crashed. Because that's what the imaginative Agile Bunny does a lot. Break off, can I turn, 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 and I'm going in the grass. Okay, I'm gonna eat some grass. Mm -hmm. Alright. I made it to the airport. I am going to go over into that white lot right there, and then I'm gonna stop this plane. And then consider that stunt a job. Well done! That was quite an out of this world adventure, huh? Flying to space in Jeffs. Uh, hit the brakes, hit the brakes, oh my, that's the end of the lot, that's the end of the lot. For all I know, this is in the middle of a building, but I don't care. So, uh, yeah, that takes care of that stunt. I think I have time for another stunt. So currently, I am up at altitudes of 31,000 feet for my next altitude stunt. So here I am in a McDonnell Douglas MD-11 FedEx. I have no idea what we're delivering. I think, I think it's that lifetime supply of carrots that I ordered. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's that lifetime supply of carrots that I ordered. I like to have my carrots, uh, how should I put it? Uh, vacuum depressurized, something like that. It's kind of cool when you put these carrots through a vacuum because, well, I'm not going to be going into an exact vacuum, but this carrot preference is the reason slash excuse for this next stunt that I want to do. Namely, how high can I go in an airliner? So let's see, we're up at 400 knots. I think I can turn autopilot on. And it's time to ascend. Now I believe a jet airliner like the MD-11 is built to operate at altitudes under 40,000 feet. Uh, am I decreasing speed already? Uh, I got my engine at full throttle. I guess I can't do 110% or something like that. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. It's gonna have to make a gentle climb. So uh, I guess I'm gonna speed up this video as I increase my altitude. Let's see, if I keep the needle around two, which indicates a climb of 2,000 feet every minute, could achieve climb rates of 20,000 feet every 10 minutes, which means I should be able to get to 40,000 feet in just a few minutes. But, uh, uh, let's do it between 1 and 2, because apparently the speed is starting to decrease. It's hard to keep this plane along. Could I apply flaps? Just a little bit. Not a lot. And my speed is still decreasing. Uh, darn it, I don't know how to keep my speed aloft. I'll just tuck the flaps back in and keep flying, I 
Yeah. So yeah, like I said, this airplane is meant to operate at under 40,000 feet. My goal is to try to get this plane to go above 40,000 feet before we have any stalls and issues such as that. So where am I flying right now? Uh, I'm west of the Chesapeake Bay. I am flying past Richmond, Virginia. Oh, there it is right there. Huh. How nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. My descent rate stopped? I don't think so. No, the, the ascent rate... Well, the, did I say descent rate? Oh, poop, I can't speak today. No, I'm worried about my ascent rate. Okay, look, plane. I just want to get above 40,000 feet. Then... You can do what your, uh, computer system desires. I can't really say hard because airplanes are not biological entities. That is unless you go into the world of cars in which you've got two movies about planes that can actually talk, have feelings. Hello, my name is Donald Douglas. I'm an MD-11. And I'm flying a lifetime of supply of carrots for the imaginative Astro Bunny. And I'm sailing at the altitudes that I was never designed to fly up to. What do you know? <laughs> okay, we're ascending through 39,000 feet now. Speed is under 300 knots. 39,500. 600. 700. All right, 250 more feet, and then I, uh, and then I'm up at 40,000 feet. Okay. Flaps full, flaps full, flaps full, flaps full. 40,000 feet. Stop. Okay, and our speed is below 250 knots, and I think it is time to return to Earth. All right, plane. You've stall, done your stall. work. Let's go find an airport to uh, land stall, you at. Stall. I think the nearest airport from here. Stall, uh oh, stall. bank angle. That's bank too angle. steep. Bank angle. angle. Sink rate. Oh, Pull I'm up. having a bad sink rate. I'm having a bad sink stall, rate. Stall. Oh boy. Oh sink boy. Rate. Oh boy. Pull this up. is not cool. Uh, stall, I need stall. to sink get rate. a little more Pull gentle up. on that. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm... Stall. Oh, stall. I don't want to go back up. I don't... Okay, uh, I better watch what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah. Let's see, I think there is an airport back there at Richmond. Yeah, I see a million lights over there. I'm gonna make to land over in that area. Oh! The, eh, the sides of the engines facing the fuselage, their riding is in reverse. So let's see, it's... Beth. No. No, that doesn't work. Oh, what? Actually, I think this is the area I want to go for right there. Yeah, I'm going to go for a swoop dive. I'm going to need to do that if I want to get over to that airport. I'll meet you guys at lower altitudes, preferably under flight level 100. Another thing I'm considering doing is trying to land at the speeds in which I'm traveling at. Oh, now I get over 425 in knots. I could have used that speed when I was heading up to 40,000 feet. But no, said the plane. You had to go by my physics, my rules. Well, here's what I have to say. Well, I know that I'm going to be violating the world speed limits for how fast you can go under 10,000 feet, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see. How long is the runway in which I aim to land? Oh no, I think I may have made a bad choice. I'm cruising toward it at 400 knots. We'll make it work. There's a rule I've been learned. Ah, my grammar is failing now! There's a rule that I was taught. You can make it work. Let's see. I am not aligned for this approach. Better stop turning until I get aligned. 
350 knots. I'm starting to slow down. Racing over the highway that I see right here. Uh, I don't, let's see. I guess this is part of Richmond's Beltway. Oh, it's time to turn and start to time to turn. Well, I'm thinking after this landing, I'm going to sign off for this video. So, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping everything up. So, I'm just going to say now, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. Feel free to crash your spaceship into that thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and would like to join me on these silly adventures, then feel free to subscribe. But anyways, that's going to conclude today's video, and I am now going to overshoot. No, no, I'm not going to overshoot. And, ah, not butter, not butter. Okay, thrust reversers, both laps. Okay, we're slowing down now. Uh, thrust reversers off. I can start tucking the flaps in. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and taxi to the terminal. So this concludes today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for... Did I just say skull there? This concludes today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. India Alpha Bravo checking out.